Giorgio is a young Italian bank clerk who has to move from Milan to Rome for work reasons. Promising his girlfriend Candida to find a suitable home for them and her own mother. After many comical incidents, Giorgio find a luxurious mansion for rent at a ludicrously low price and is soon joined by Candida and her mother. This movie is very fun. Pozzetto is very entertaining and the setting is charming and fascinating too. The story is simple and interesting. Sometimes the characters act in a weird way just because the script needs to create comedic and hilarious situation. It is not always believable and not everything always makes sense. But it is fun and entertaining enough that you will want to ignore this fact and enjoy the movie anyway. The story at its core is simple and makes sense anyway. It is my favorite Italian movie. It is probably not a masterpiece but it is the one enjoy the most. The movie is fun and you usually don't see such a beautiful and fascinating setting in comedies but in horror movies instead. A fun comedy with such a gorgeous setting is a very interesting mix in my opinion and it makes this movie particularly satisfying and enjoyable. In a mythical Arabian night prologue, two crossed lovers are struck by a curse cast unto them by a powerful witch who had betrothed her own daughter Candida to the evil tyrant Ali Amman. While the girl was passionately in love with Georgia Fat, the witch turns the two lovers into salt statues, forcing their disembodied soul to wander for a thousand years before reincarnating and meeting again. If they would be able to prolong Candida's virginity, until the thousandth anniversary of the curse expire. They will be able to live happily if not the curse would renew itself. A thousand years later, Giorgio is a young Italian bank clerk who has to move from Milan to Rome for work reasons. Promising his girlfriend Candida to find a suitable abode for them and her own mother. After many comical incidents, 
Giorgio find a luxurious mansion for rent at a ludicrously low price and is soon joined by Candida and her mother. The couple is soon married, but a series of supernatural incidents prevent them from consummating the poltergeist activity seems centered around Jojo's pet dog, a great dad who starts talking in a heavy southern accent, and a mysterious character who looks like the faithful servant of Jojo Fat. The haunted house is a youth cult of anyone who was a child or teenager in the early 80s. Kobuchi, Pozzetto, Gloria and a Ghost Story Naturally comic, very suitable for the days and slightly naive wow opposito the eternal accountant gloria never undresses a bad blow for us art house cinephile in the same year seso a volunteer by dino risi was released practically the last films of the gloria the only lingerie moment is the prerogative of the free range waitress marilda donna the year before chechi gori had produced mia mogli e una strega always with pozzetto always with witches and thousand year old curses with little effort most of the element are recycled but the result in my opinion is a bit weak there is the adolescent affection that binds me to this film and which makes me always willingly watch it again there is poseto who in those years is a bit coming to the end of his best period there is the increasingly chaste and there are still funny jokes scattered around the real estate dialogue during the robberies are excellent as is the applause when after the in a thumb of the witch mother in law at the beginning of the film poseto apostrophizes her with ma'am but do you realize the bullshit you are talking about however we proceed wearily at times almost by inertia as if we were proceeding as it comes given the sets a sketchy subject and the creativity of the actors the incipit of the film the mythological one set a thousand years earlier somewhere in the east is very reminiscent of the equally fantasy beginning of my wife is a witch the same formula 
to put the story on the right contemporary track getano the neapolitan great dan has never made me laugh however the same thing happens in w love folk a curious case of contamination both films are from 82 just like poseto hulk's idea of foiling the bank robbery has always seemed crass to me a bit of nonsense in short poseto's mother in law Lia Zopelli is quite funny. The villa is very beautiful and evocative. The music by Detto Mariano is not bad either. It should also be considered that in the reception scene at the villa the song I adore you is heard. playing on the gramophone already heard in the film as so with celentano the subject is 3 mario cecigori andrico oldioni mario amendola the only extra is a sad interview with vittorio cecigori in which the producer filmed in a short of bear hoppies perhaps already cleaned by the financial police pronounces great truth such as 9 into 9 is 81 and before it was all here countryside however he says one interesting thing when he says that kobuchi was a great man and a great professional who for a good part of his career made films having to undergo dialysis every other day and yet he never exceeded one day of work or created production problems but above all he has made special films for many lovers of genre cinema and comedy in general the accountant giorgio allegri a milanese banker is in love with his sweet and beautiful girlfriend candida after moving to rome for work giorgio begins the difficult search for an apartment capable of hosting him his girlfriend his mother in law Anastasia and his great dan Gitano Giorgio search and swan by chance a mysterious individual offer him the chance to live in a beautiful villa on the Appian Way at a particularly low rent The villa found by Giorgio however is haunted a thousand years earlier to lovers Giorgio Vet and Candisa surprised by her mother Anastasia were transformed into salt statues To break the spell Candida will have to remain untouched until the first night of the full moon 
from which the thousand year of the spell will begin. The mysterious man who reported the house of Giorgio is none other than the reincarnation of Oma, a Saracen warrior and servant of Giorgio Vat, who amid Giorgio's insult and resistance and Candida's perplexity will ensure that the two lovers they